It's time for Robot Football. Welcome to the student design competition at ASME's engineering festival, eFest, at Penn State University. There are teams from throughout America and beyond that have come together to see who can design the best football playing robot. You really want to make sure that you have something that's reliable and that works. If it can't move, it's hard to compete. ASME's eFest student design competition, robot football. So this is it, the final round of the student design competition, robot football. It's all led to this point. There have been 50 teams from throughout America and beyond have come together, played together through 30 games to get round to the final four, where we have Drexel University. <laughs> University of Florida. <laughs> Milwaukee School of Engineering, Cicero. <laughs> and also Milwaukee School of Engineering, Angry Snails. Angry snails. As you see, we have a trapping mechanism which comes down and scoots it into the shooting mechanism part. And what's unique about it is that we can actually change the angle uh, that the ball comes out at. And it was really cool to just see everyone's different take on the problem statement that we were given, and just blessed to be here. Drexel University. All three of the robots are based around the same design, so we can swap parts in case we need to. So we use omnidirectional wheels so we can both translate and rotate at the same time, makes it pretty nimble, as well as hold balls, so we have brushless DC motors that hold balls in, and then like that, and it okay. holds the ball in, and then when we want to, we have a linear actor to push it, and it throws the ball out. I'd say it's tough to deal with defender robots that are large. So like some of these guys back here have these flat plates, very tough to go against these guys, but you know, made yeah. for a good competition. University of Florida. We decided to do an offense robot and two defense robots. So a funnel system helps us direct the ball while the flywheels are spinning inward. For our defense ones, we just want to take up as much space from our goal as possible because we want to defend. Obviously, defense wins championships, right? I think we pulled through and we did a good job. And all you guys did a good job. Lots of creativity we didn't even think about. Cicero. The main mechanism of the robot besides the drivetrain is this main brush in the center, and it's most of the width of the robot. We run it forward to collect the ball inside the robot, and then to shoot the ball, we aim it and then reverse the brush, and it forces the ball out towards the goal, hopefully. I felt pretty good about it. I came in here, and I was not expecting to be in the finals, but we worked throughout the competition very well. So tell me, exactly what is football when it comes to robots? Each team comes with at least one robot. Some have up to six robots. And the overall objective is to see who can score as many goals as possible. Typically, there's four teams playing at the same time. And each team has two balls available. You're going to maximize those points by matching up the color of the ball with the color of the goal. It's a maximum of eight scores in the first round. Then we have a quick halftime. And then there'll be eight scores in the second round possible. So what's the criteria with the robots? Can they just build any kind of robot that they want? So they do have to fit within a, a geometric box and they all have to be designed to start within the goaltending field and immediately deploy outside that area. We're really not going for a lot of attacks on the robots or any kind of sabotaging or controlling movement. What kind of words of wisdom, what kind of advice have you got for any of these student engineers taking part in this competition? You really want to make sure that you have something that's reliable and that works because one of the big things is making sure that you know all your connections are hooked up, that you have enough battery power and enough juice to get through the competition. If you can't move, um, it's hard to compete. Are there any points for innovations or for anything through the design or anything about the robotics themselves where they get extra points? Only bragging rights. All right, so let's go. Best of luck, everybody, and let's play robot football. Oh. And that's it. We're down to the final game, Steve. Here we go. Teams are anxious to get started, and we're off. They're quick off the mark. Look at them go. Florida off to a quick start. Oh, they're going for two balls. Oh. Takes a shot, and it's a goal. A quick goal off the start for Florida. Florida on the tack again with another ball. Gets a shot. Bounced off the rim. Oh, this is an intense game right now. Cicero plows in, takes another ball. Hard into the board, and it gets a ball. Floating around, looking for its opportunity. Beast of a machine imposing its will on the other robots. Absolute beast, big block. You see one of those robots coming for you, you're gonna get out of here. Oh, and a goal from Cicero, look at that, what a shot. Oh yes, now where are the other balls? Here comes Florida again. Florida on the attack, gets another ball, setting up a shot, and it's a goal. Yes, oh. they got it in the yellow goal, I do believe that's a bonus point. And here comes Drexel. Drexel on the offensive. Oh, Cicero comes hard into the boards. Taking out a camera in the process. Drexel in a battle with the angry snail, and it goes in. Hard to tell who that went off of. That's going to be one for the judges. 
Look at those defensive robots. They are doing fantastic. They are doing plenty of hitting. Here we're going to see now. Drexel will oh. try and take a shot. Drexel with the ball. Florida said, not in my house. Meanwhile, Florida has just picked up another ball. They're going to take a shot. Where and it goes, it? and it shoots. Hit the post with the shot. Bounced across the... There we go. Oh. Setting one of its defensive robots to get the ball a little on the offensive here. Not going to do much there. They've just trapped it against the wall. In a battle with Cicero. Here comes Drexel. Drexel get up. Oh. Drexel going for a ball. Oh, and it deflects into Florida. Drexel in a dog fight on the board. But Drexel has the ball back in that possession. Drexel Move gets the around, ball. And they get a clear Florida shot. with defense. Florida says no. Denied again. Not in my house, oh, it's Florida. Oh, what was that? Do we get a replay? Drexel has the ball, throws it at Florida, that bounces off into Cicero. Cicero now has possession. Can they make the most of this opportunity? Cicero with another ball. They turn around. Oh, they're taking a shot. Oh, another ball. Oh, wasted opportunity. Florida gets the ball back themselves. Can they make this count? That one may come back to haunt Cicero. Maybe here they go. They're, no one is getting in their way. Can they do this? Looking for a lane. Florida. Everyone ganging up on Florida now on defense. Here we go. Cicero shoots. Oh, Florida with a big deflect. And it goes in. So that brings the game to half time. The judges will now meet to discuss and verify the events of the first half of the game. This also enables each team some valuable time to evaluate their robots and perform any necessary maintenance. Each team must now get their robots into position within their squares. These teams work so hard to get to this moment, the championship game. Nothing but heartbreak for everyone but the winners. It's been a long road, but here we go, second half. Robots are quick off the jump. Cicero with an early they shot. They no time getting hold of that ball. And they go to English Florida Snell playing with the defense. Oh, and the Snails take a goal. And here we go. Cicero checking another ball within itself there. And here comes Drexel. Can it get hold of this ball? Have they been yes, they have it. Drexel picks up a ball along the boards. Looking for an opening. Lining up a shot. Defense being played by the Snails. Having a bit of play. Here goes. Oh, 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 come on, Drexel. Oh, oh, get that blue out! Get that blue out! Get that Snail struggling along the boards. Florida saying, get out Trying of to get some way. offense, and Florida takes it away. I'll take that ball, thank you very much. We have Cicero playing defense here. Drexel gets a ball. Drexel looking for an angle. Florida also with a ball. Moving, looking. Looking, looking for no shot. Drexel, can they make this one count? Some heavy defense being Angry played. Snail getting in their way, not giving them a chance. They're lining up, getting it. Defense, goal, 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 Drexel. Well done, Drexel. Yeah. And another goal for Florida, and if we are on last ball. That is it, the last ball. Seven balls now Who in the it? goal, but where is this eighth ball? Looks like some confusion right now. No one can see where it is. No one knows who the ball. Cicero making a move, imposing its will, plowing through Florida's defense. Shoots and hit the ball. Drexel going for the shot, Drexel gets the ball, oh, and the legs. Going off the boards, Florida. Cameron, Florida, and Drexel. Florida, and Drexel. Drexel, and Florida. Florida, Florida. 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 Florida has the final ball, and the other teams are playing defense, trying to make sure it doesn't score the last goal. We're down, this is the last ball. Can they get it off the top? Well, once he is in that trapping mechanism, there is no way that's coming out without a shot. Heavy here, chaos. Drexel. Florida trying to get an opening, trying to find opportunity. Now they have the green ball in their possession. Can they get the bonus point by going for the green goal? Florida's defense trying to make some way. Cicero imposing its will. Backing up, trying to move towards the green. Can they get a straight shot? Ganging up on Florida. Now's its chance. Oh, and Cicero denies again. Florida backing away. Back away. Has a shot. Has to open the ball. And it takes a shot. Oh! The winners of the 2018 Student Design Competition, uh, E-Fest East, is... The University of Florida. And that's it. After an intense match, University of Florida have won the student design competition at ASME's E-Fest East. If you would like to find out more information about ASME's E-Fest or are interested in taking part in one of our upcoming events, then please visit efest.asme.org. Party like an engineer. <laughs>